Hello, this is Higher Education Matters, and I'm your host, Jeb Spaulding. I'm the Chancellor of the Vermont State Colleges System, uh, and in this program, we try to explore issues of higher education. Often, we do focus on the Vermont State Colleges System as a whole, but we also address generic issues in higher education like affordability and access and technology and hopefully we have interesting guests that make it something that you want to watch on a regular basis. So thank you for joining us today and thanks to Orca for uh, hosting us and producing this program. Our guest today is Jesse Streeter. Jesse is a junior at Northern Vermont University Johnson. Hello Jesse. Hello and thank you for having me. Thanks for coming on the program. So Northern Vermont University, we may as well start right there. This, yeah. is, this is the first official year of Northern Vermont University. What is it? It's very exciting um, changing Johnson and Linden, combining together to become, go from a state college to a university. Um, it's a, I don't know, it's an exciting, exciting yeah. feat, attracting right. a lot of new people to the So really, yeah. it's, it's a unification of bringing the best of Johnson and Linden together into one institution, but with two campuses. Yes. And one thing we may as well say right from the start, if people are watching this and wondering, the athletic teams are staying uh, on each of the campuses. Correct. Right? So and there's each, a... each will have a soccer team or a basketball team or what have you, mm -hmm. right? And they've sparked a competition between the two schools to oh, see which one is the better campus yeah. athletically. Okay, well, yeah. that's good. Yeah. But I think the purpose of it really was to try to uh, make sure that the dollars we're spending are spent on the things that matter most to students. So, yes. you know, I, I happen to know, being the chancellor of the Vermont State Colleges system, that in the, the first year, the transition year, before they even became officially Northern Vermont University, we saved over a million dollars in uh, sort of executive management fees by having one president, one mm -hmm. CFO, one academic dean. Uh, and trying to replow that money into things that actually matter to students, like you know education and extracurriculars and stuff like that. So uh, that's really the, the the purpose of the whole thing. And uh, you know, over time, um, we are hoping that it will actually mean the faculty members at both Linden and Johnson get to know each other a little bit better uh, and work together. So for students like you will have access not only to faculty members at the Johnson campus where you go, but faculty members from the Linden campus as well. Yeah. And some of those things take a while. Like right now, I know that the, the business program has already become one department. And that's sort of the, the vision of where we're going in the future. And I was actually up at uh, Johnson fairly recently uh, talking to a professor that takes uh, trips. In, I think he was taking a trip to, to India. Uh, and they didn't have enough students uh, last year. But when they look at both NVU, Linden, and Johnson, they'll have enough to actually run the trip. And so that's another example that's awesome. of like where we're doing more for students. I mean, have you noticed, Jesse, any any difference? Or is it in your own way, it's just, just the same as it always was? For me personally, it's been pretty much the same. A lot of the faculty um, in my programs have stayed there and I've experienced them. But I do know people in the business department who have uh, uh, experienced meeting professors from Linden and kind of getting to know other people Right. Uh, okay. Through the unification. Well, let's learn a little bit about you to start with here. Yes. I mean, Jesse Streeter, where are you from? Uh, so I'm from Richmond, Vermont. Went to Mount Mansfield High School. Um, grew up in the area. And uh, I wasn't really sure exactly what I, I knew I wanted to go on to second or higher education. But I wasn't sure where I considered going to a large college out of state um, or staying home kind of went back and forth with that, but I decided to stay here, come to Johnson, because I like the small community aspect, um, okay. yeah. being able to get to know your professors really well. Um, well, and it's interesting, that since you mentioned that, about getting to know your professors well, because I know a lot of times, uh, you know, I have two daughters, and one of them went to a fairly large university, mm -hmm. and, and really didn't have much opportunity to get to know the professors. Right. Have you had the opportunity to actually not only see them in class, but, you know, get to know them a little bit? Yeah. Um, I don't know what it's like at a large university. I imagine it's a lot harder. But from my experience, when you have classes of 20 or so students, you really, the teachers get to know everybody's name. They know how you're doing in the class. Right. If you're struggling, they'll come work with you more. If you're not, they might help you uh, go even farther than the class would normally take you. And you build a strong connection with your advisor, and they all really care about you right. and how you're doing in classes, um, and will 
bring opportunities to you that I feel like you wouldn't get elsewhere. Okay, well that's great. Yeah. So I'm just kind of curious back when you were, you know, if you can remember back in the old days when you were still a high school student a few years ago, did did the uh, school counselors or the, the teachers you had in, in high school uh, welcome you with thinking about going to one of the state colleges or discourage you or or they had no 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 role at all um it's hard to remember but i feel like there was a, a limited role in um they they want they tried to help you go somewhere but it wasn't like they were necessarily pushing one thing or the other okay uh, that was just kind of a decision on my own to really yeah. stay around okay i mean so, the reason i ask is because sometimes i feel like people in vermont you know, regular citizens or, or, or educators don't really understand the opportunities that are available oh, to definitely. students at our own public higher education system. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, oftentimes I see people that are go out of state uh, and pay more and get less out of it. And uh, that's, that's unfortunate in a way. Mm -hmm. And it makes me think about, you know, like for you, uh, and you, you, you might not have, I don't know the answer to this, Jesse, but uh, have you taken advantage of any of the uh, foreign exchange programs or anything like that? I haven't taken advantage of any of those. I have some friends who have who had a great experience, but um, I personally haven't looked into it at all just because it doesn't fit in necessarily with my interests. Yeah. Well, just we'll get back to your interests, but just mm -hmm. so people know, I mean, all of our colleges, and I should maybe say, you know, we have four institutions that are part of the Vermont State Colleges system. Mm -hmm. Castleton, of course. I'm doing an alphabetical order here, not, not no other yeah. reason for this, but Castleton University down outside of Rutland. We have Community College of Vermont, which has got 12 locations around the state, and fully one-third of the courses at Community College are actually online courses now. Uh, and then Northern Vermont University with our two campuses in Lyndon and Johnson, and then Vermont Technical College, which uh, has its main campus in, in uh, Randolph Center, but a really nice campus in Williston, which, by the way, is getting so popular that it's hard to park there anymore. Mm. Uh, and then they offer distance learning and, and, and programs throughout the state in allied health and nursing. So uh, those are the institutions of the, the Vermont State Conscious System. But all of them have opportunities for students to actually spend a year abroad or to travel. And at Johnson, for example, Johnson is a member of uh, the National Student yeah. Exchange and the International Student Exchange, mm -hmm. which means that students can go to study for a year at you know, hundreds of universities and colleges in this country and a, a, around the world uh, at in-state tuition. So, you know, I, I think it's fine if students like and families want to go out of state for a while. And often that, that's, that's nothing wrong with that. It's a, it's a big world. But often people don't realize, actually, you could do that at in-state tuition rates uh, at one of our state colleges. Yeah, so. it's a really, really good opportunity. I have a friend in Montana and then uh, one that just went down to Rhode Island. Right. So you can go anywhere and yeah. it's a very good opportunity. So what is it, what is it that's, uh, your, your, what are you majoring in? I'm majoring, double majoring in history and political science. Wow. And huh. um, I feel like the programs there have created a lot of opportunities for me. They've got really well-connected professors. Um, Senator Bill Doyle, who's no longer teaching there, but when I first started, uh, he taught a course down at the State House, which was a really good experience. We went down over winter break and observed the legislature, and then through that I got a couple internships down there. So huh, nice. there, there's a lot of connection, connections and smart people there that really want to help you. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, when I uh, sort of look at the, the makeup of the legislature, how many of the legislators actually went to one of our yeah. Vermont state colleges systems. So I'm glad you had the opportunity to do that. Me too. It yeah. is unfortunate that Senator Doyle uh, retired, but, mm -hmm. uh, but he is, you know, well past normal right. retirement age, so right. <laughs> it happens to everybody eventually, but we're yeah. certainly going to miss them. But I'm hopeful that we'll still have programs that allow students to go down and spend time in the, in the state house. So, yes. Yeah. And, you know, have, have you gotten to a point where you're thinking about what you wanted? I know you're just a junior, yeah. but are you starting to think a little bit past uh, graduation and what you might want to do with your education? Yeah, um, I plan on going to law school after I graduate. And just another... Uh, Thing is going, being able to go to a Vermont State College and get a really good education at a very affordable price makes it um, a lot more realistic that I can then go on to yeah. the cost of law school later. 
Well, that would be and great. And still feel very right. prepared right. for it going into it. So, and what, just if, on a personal level, if you're thinking about law school uh, and you're uh, a history a major, and we said a double major history, yeah. and what was the other? Political, Political science. Political science. Are you thinking about politics or, or, or maybe or a, Maybe eventually. I haven't uh, right. decided on that, but I definitely have the interest in that area right. after what I've done. And right. Just general interest. Well, you're sort of in, involved with politics right now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, have you been involved with the Student Government Association? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Um, last year, I was a senator on the student gover student government, and uh, this year, I've taken a role as the director of clubs at the school, which is less in the decision making, but kind of the role okay. of just right helping out with that. So, and uh, you've uh, recently been elected to become. A trustee of the Vermont State College system, right? Yes. Okay, so you just you, you, you can. Did you know you can do that for two years, Jesse? I didn't know that. Yes, but, and I actually I'm glad to know that you're a junior because personally we've had you know we've had some really great student trustees, mm -hmm. but most of the time they just do it for one year and they're really just coming up to speed. And then we yeah. get a, somebody new like you. Yeah. If you enjoy it, at least mm -hmm. keep that in the back of your mind that you know you can do it for uh, two years if if you're elected. Is it are, is the student trustee elected by the the all of the students of the Vermont State College System or by the the board of the Su Student Government Association? The it's by the board of the Student Government Association. Okay. All the presidents and vice presidents of the different okay. student right. governments at the schools. All right. Yeah. And did you have to uh, did you have a contested election to get to be trustee? Um, it was lightly contested, yeah, okay. but okay. it was, yeah, it was okay. good. Okay, well, I'm glad you got on board. Yeah. And it, what, what have you thought of the trustee meeting so far? They've been very good. I mean, it's still very early, so um, there's a lot to be seen and learned. Right. But um, it's been a great experience so far. I'm learning a lot, and hopefully we'll be able to contribute. I like to be a voice for the students. I like to think that I have connections with a lot of different um people on campus, all different kinds of interests. So if I can represent them the best at these meetings, right. that's forward. the goal. Looking forward to that. I mean, yeah. You know, we have four institutions that are part of the system. I already mentioned them. Mm -hmm. We only have one board of trustees, and there are uh, 15 members of the board, mm -hmm. including the governor. Uh, in my experience, governors don't usually have the time to participate, so it's really more like 14 people. And the student trustee brings a perspective that's really, really important. And you know, we try to stay involved with what's going on the campuses, but there's nothing like somebody that's actually there. And right. we encourage our, our trust, student trustees to, they're just like any other trustee. We all come in with uh, you know certain backgrounds, and uh, when they're on the board, though, they're everybody's equal. So we mm -hmm. look forward to that. You know, you mentioned uh, clubs, and uh, you're involved with that this year. Are there what what kind of clubs do we have? There's a very wide variety of clubs. Um, there's a lot of skiers and snowboarders in Johnson, so there's a club that tries to get them up to the mountain as much as possible. Um, uh, there's clubs that play like tabletop games. There's clubs that. It's really just bringing interests together of any kind to do activities or um, there's Model UN, which is a really good club that brings together bright minds and they go down to Massachusetts every year with, mm. uh, I don't know if it's from around the country or from around the world, just different schools coming together representing a country okay. and kind of in a diplomatic situation. You know, it's, it's the reason I mention it is because in this day and age, people are sometimes attracted to getting their degrees online or mm -hmm. some way like that, which is nothing wrong with it. But, right. you know, you're not getting the full student experience like you can at a, one of our state colleges that are, uh, you know, have, have all these uh, extracurricular activities, Model UN or, or athletics or what yeah. have you. And have those kind of experiences been, uh, you know, something that's been attractive to you and useful for you? Definitely. And I know I've uh, talked to, like, there's commuters at Johnson that, uh, always say they want to get into things, but they have a hard time with right. commuting, um, being able to participate in these activities. And I just, I do think they're a great opportunity to meet new people, but even get to know even more faculty that aren't just in your classes right. and build those really good connections and yeah, opportunities. So, so I guess the college experience is, is, is uh, I mean, at the heart of it is, is the academics, but yeah. it's it's a lot more than there's that. A, yeah, I mean, there's a lot Personal more. growth and learning how to, 
you know, deal with people that are different than you and, uh, you know, uh, actually struggling sometimes is, and getting through it the other side, hopefully with some support from the, the college is, uh, is, 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 a, is a good experience that you can't get online. Exactly. So I'm curious, Jesse, have you ever run into any students that are, are early college students at, at uh, NVU Johnson? I have. Um, this past summer, I was actually an orientation leader. Um, so bringing in all the new freshmen, helping them find things. And I had an early college group. All the students in my group were early college students. And they were, they were very, like, I feel like they were a little more nervous maybe than some of the regular freshmen just because they're, they're younger and experiencing a totally new thing. Uh, but, but they're very uh, smart kids and they're, they're ready to tackle yeah, what's in front of them? It, it's something that I, for our viewers, I just want to elaborate on a little mm -hmm. bit. Early college is when seniors in high school combine that senior of high, senior year of high school and their first year of college. So they could come to NVU Johnson, Lyndon Castleton Community College, Vermont Tech, uh, and actually by the time they graduate from high school, have completed their first year of college with no tuition cost, mm -hmm. which is pretty amazing. When you talk about affordability, is is a big issue for people these days. But, you know, if you were going to get an associate's degree, that would be a 50% reduction in the tuition cost, or even with a bachelor's, a 25% reduction in tuition. So, you know, not only do you get a, like, uh, for, for, for many, in fact, on this program, we had had a student uh, from up in Franklin County who was an early college student, mm. who, you know, really re recounted that he was kind of like just drifting along in, in his high school and got to go to uh, Johnson and really uh, had a, a much more... Uh, meaningful uh, and productive senior year that was going to lead him on to go to college that he really didn't even know he was going to go to college. So you get that experience, but also really helps in the affordability angle too. Yeah. And it's growing. I mean, it's amazing. And within the Vermont State College system, the numbers of students participating uh, is is increasing fairly significantly. Yeah. And you can also, as, as, as high school students, take, uh, you know, without without doing the full early college year, you can take every high school uh, student in Vermont is entitled to taking two uh, college courses while they're still in high school. And there was one student that uh, was down in the, the Rutland County area that did in their uh, junior year of high school two dual enrollment courses, did the early college uh, at Community College of Vermont, and then you know their first year out of high school was already into their sophomore year at Castleton. And, mm -hmm. You know, I just, I, I mentioned that because you know, there are a lot of opportunities that people, if they think ahead a little bit about, can can actually make it much more possible for them to go on to college. Definitely. And that, that's that's an important one. You know, I also, at Johnson, have you ever met any students that are in the, uh, uh, have you ever met Professor Les Cannett? I haven't. It's in science, but they have a program through the National Science Foundation where you basically, for students that are, I know you're, you know, history and political science, but for students right. that are interested in math and science where they can go, you know, for a free boat for four years, you know. To, oh, is that right? Yeah. And, you know, you got to be motivated. Right. There are ways to do it. There's incentive to do, yeah. do well. Yeah. So, you know, I, I'm just, I'm saying that, Jesse, because a lot of parents and grandparents and students may think, gee, you know, with the sticker price of colleges, we just can't even think about it at all. Mm -hmm. And you know, there are ways that uh, people can, can access higher education in an affordable fashion with a little bit of planning. So, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So uh, have you gotten to know any of the students at, uh, at the Linden campus yet? I haven't yet. I'm looking yeah. forward to doing that uh -huh. through some of the new positions I have. And then hopefully outside of that, the unification brings, brings us together on mm -hmm. many different levels. But I haven't, haven't yet, mm -hmm. no. Have you done any courses through uh, telepresence? No. Well, what that is is I don't like know what that what, is. well, what it is, uh, and we're seeing more and more of it, and not only between uh, the campuses of Johnson and Linden at Northern Vermont University, but also between Community College and and, and Castleton or or what have you throughout the system. We have classrooms using technology that are connected, so a professor can. Origin, it's not, not like online. I mean, it's live, mm -hmm. and it's happening Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, at blah, 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 whatever time it is. But the professor originates the program from one campus, but students at another campus can take it live, uh, can see the professor, can see the whiteboard, can ask questions, say, I didn't understand that equation. Could you, you know, just kind of go through it a little mm -hmm. bit? 
uh, and it is a way to actually allow students to have access to more professors to make sure that we don't have to not, you know, that, that we're not running classes with, you know, four or five people in them, that we really is not economically viable for the long run. So, you know, we're uh, trying to take advantage of technology to make sure that students, you know, uh, really uh, have access to as many of the professors as they can. That seems great. Yeah. So, Jesse, you're, how tall are you? I'm 6'6". Six, 6'6". Six. Six, six. So, six, six. do you play basketball? I was considering playing basketball my freshman year. I had a really bad knee injury that kind of took me out for huh. ever. But okay. I play I play golf there. So. Okay. It doesn't use my height necessarily. Right. No, it's like probably hard for tall people to yeah. be golfers. I, I'm not quite as tall as you, but I, I'm i up there too, and it's, it's a yeah. long way down to that golf ball. So, yeah. But they have athletics uh, at both Johnson and Linden, mm -hmm. and I mentioned that earlier, but uh, you know they, they play in a conference, so if people are thinking about, gee, Northern Vermont University, maybe it's you know like kind of like minimizing the opportunities for athletics that's right. not the case no the, 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 and, and what about clubs and you know intramurals and stuff like that um there there's a lot of uh small intramurals like there's intramural basketball that anybody can participate in uh one of our biggest sports at the school though is actually a uh, club sport rugby okay. it's um our teams are well known in the region as the best teams every year, men's and women's. And is that right? Yeah, huh. they they do very well. Huh. That's yeah. great. That's a tough game. Yeah, I mean, it's like you know, it looks like it. I've never played it myself. Yeah. But, and you play other colleges within the state college system, or within the state college system and outside up. Okay. Um, not sure the exact place, but in Maine and Massachusetts, there's okay. different. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you had an opportunity to tell students, uh, you know, why they should think about going to uh, Northern Vermont University Johnson, which is your direct experience, mm -hmm. you know, what would you what would you say to them, Jesse? Well, the biggest thing for me, the thing I actually have told a lot of people, um, new students, is to really take advantage of every opportunity that you get, because at a small college like this, there are a lot more opportunities that will come to you than at a larger college, um, and if you take advantage of it, them, one thing can lead to another, and you can really further your education and help you out in the future. So, if you take take advantage of those, yeah, that sounds good. It's great. And getting to know people, I'm just curious. I mean, before you were on the board of trustees, had mm -hmm. you ever met the president of of uh, Johnson? No, never. Oh, is that yeah, right? Yeah, never. And now you have as, as a student trustee. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. And, you know, when when you went to Johnson, did you have any connections there? I mean, did you, did you know, I mean. Not really. My mom had gone there um, at one point in her college career. Okay. Um, but other than that, I did not have any connections. And it's crazy to see just two and a half years later all yeah. the connections that you can build in that short amount of time right okay i feel like i'm really yeah. entrenched in it now well good you're a good ambassador for us that's for sure you know? hopefully and i'm i'm thinking that you know what we want to try to do is make sure that whether it's northern vermont university or castleton or community college or vermont technical college that we are serving uh the needs of the state of vermont and mm -hmm. you know if you sort of look at all of our colleges together uh, you would find not only f folks like you that may be future legislators or lawyers or what what have you, public servants, uh, but you know what, if I were to go to uh, you know get some procedure in a in a hospital, I'd probably have a <clears throat> a nurse that was educated at either Castleton mm -hmm. or Vermont Technical College. Uh, you know we have uh, I mean there are hundreds of uh, graduates of the Vermont State Colleges that work at what was IBM and is now Global Foundries. Uh, you know, the CEO of uh, PC Construction went to Vermont Technical College. The president of Union Bank went to Johnson State College and now Northern Vermont University. So, you know, our role uh, is actually not just to improve uh, the prospects of individual students, but also to serve the needs of the state of Vermont. And, you know, with our demographic situation out there right now where there are just fewer young people, uh, it's important that you know that the state colleges provide the kind of education that will allow will allow our, our our young people in Vermont to contribute to the state and to their own future. Definitely. And you know, I mean, some people, Jesse, uh, wonder about the value of a college education. 
Uh, and you know, the experts would say that uh, fully two thirds of the jobs that are going to be available in the next 10 years require a bachelor's degree. Uh, and it doesn't mean everybody needs to get a bachelor's degree, uh, but uh, you know, people shouldn't minimize the value. And I'm glad that you're taking advantage of, uh, of those. Yes. And I look forward to finding out what you're going to do with your future. Me too. All right. Well, don't, don't forget us, all right? Absolutely. And um, I think, you know, in the, in the couple minutes we have left, I'd really like to find out, um, you know, one more time what you would say to students that are thinking, gee, you know, I, I want to go out of state or I want to go mm -hmm. to a big university. What's the value of a, of a Northern Vermont University, Johnson or Linden or Castleton or Vermont Tech? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's for those who are having a hard time with staying close to home or not, or they really want to go out and experience life outside. Um, it's not, you're not getting less of the college experience going to one of the um, Vermont State Colleges. It's a smaller community, but you can still pursue any interest that you have. And affordability yeah. is, is huge for a lot of people. Uh, whether you need, you can only go because it's more affordable or whether it just helps out in the future yeah. because it's more affordable. It's um, Okay. Yeah. Well, that sounds good. Yeah. And, you know, did, did you, have you been a residential student the whole time or did yeah. you meet some of the time? I yeah. have been. That's a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. Although we have boats, right? So we've, we have plenty of students that do commute. Absolutely. I was yeah. surprised when I went to the convocation, which is sort of the gathering of the first year students when the semester begins. And one of the professors uh, asked the, the whole group of new students, how many of you are working while you're going to school? And it, it, it seems like it was like 90% of the hands went mm -hmm. up. So uh, there are a lot of our students that are actually pursuing their academics and still trying to uh, you know, help with the affordability by maintaining a part-time job while they're going. Yes. You've probably seen that with some of the students too, right? Oh, definitely. Okay. And well. those are some of the best students because they're just driven working hard outside of class and then getting their homework done to stay on track. And have you met any students from, from other states at, at uh, Johnson? A few. A lot of the, a lot in the region like Massachusetts, yeah. Rhode Island. My roommate's from Rhode Island, okay. but um, right. also a lot of in-state too. Because that's a good experience too. That I mean, we have, you know, uh, we, it's not like, not only Vermonters, there are students that from around the region and mm -hmm. you know around the world. I'm amazed. Yeah. A place like Castle, they have like you know, 36 countries or something like that where students are coming from. So, yeah. and community college is very diverse. And so, I think Jesse, we are. I hate to say it, out of time. And mm -hmm. so, I want to thank you for being a guest today on Higher Education Matters. I want to thank our viewers for giving us their time. Thanks, uh, thanks to Orca for her hosting. Uh, I'm Jeb Spaulding, Chancellor of the Vermont State College System, and we hope to see you again.